welcome to Good Pasture Golf Course. <laughs> no, no. This isn't one of those hoity-toity country clubs with bag jockeys and knickerbockers and running water of... We like to keep it laid back, you know? Just take a look for yourself. Son of a Nice shot, Brayden. <laughs> yep, another happy member out on the green, breaking his club in sheer joy, I bet. Uh, hold on. Hey, remind me to discuss the dress code with you later, Brayden. Nah, nothing serious. Just make sure those socks are within one to two inches of the midpoint between the knee crease and the crest of the cap, okay, champ? All right, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's go through some of the common features of the small vessel vasculitides as a group. By small vessel, we mean small arteries, arterioles, capillaries, and venules. In other words, don't expect the aorta or its branches to suffer much damage this time. Instead, think about the major networks of small vessels in the body. Take the skin, for example, where damage to small vessels and capillaries manifests as petechiae, nodules, bullae, all kinds of stuff. The classic cutaneous manifestation of small vessel vasculitis is palpable purpura, Represented by the red polka dots on Braden's gaudy golf attire, these lesions consist of erythematous papules and plaques, usually around a centimeter or less in diameter, though they can coalesce to cover a larger area. Also, as his caddy holds him back while he recovers from his tantrum, remember that these purpura are characteristically palpable and non-blanchable, which means they're raised and don't change in color when you press on them. The next small vessel system you need to worry about is inside the kidney all those fragile little glomeruli. Glomerulonephritis is a part of pretty much every small vessel vasculitis syndrome, symbolized as usual by that glomerular bendy straw. Mild glomerulonephritis can show up as hematuria, proteinuria, and azotemia on labs. Watch out though, because this isn't just some amateur with a fancy golf bag cup holder. All the vasculitis syndromes covered in this sketch can cause a rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, or RPGN which results in a precipitous loss of renal function, characterized morphologically by crescent formation within the glomerulus, hence the crescent logo we've added to his gear. I mean, it's no Nike, but a sponsor's a sponsor, right? <laughs>